They wait, wait. So, so you notice that they always get in black people shooting them down. But when they stop you, what happens? When they stop me and they hear the accent, uh -huh. they're like, "Go, go. We ain't looking for so you." I'm like, "What's going on?" Right. So you know, what? Because there, there have been four instances. Like police have stopped me. Uh -huh. Four instances. Uh -huh. When they come to me and I tell them, "Where are you from?" That's the conversation from Uganda. Like, oh, I'm from Uganda. Okay, bye. Just like that. Just like that. Now, if you were to say you're from America. I don't know what would that have been. Why is me? it? Yeah. So, and that's what, one question I've been asking myself. What's know? the question? Why? Why is it that African Americans, our brothers here, are being targeted? Mm. Why is that? Because the African American that you know of by the name, African American, the blacks, the blacks. Are, yeah, that's mm -hmm. a title. According to the Bible, we are the children of Israel. Mm -hmm. You know the people that was with Moses and mm -hmm. went through the Red Sea with Moses? Mm -hmm. We are the descendants of them people. Mm -hmm. We God's chosen. Okay, so, and that's why they know who we are. And that's why it's a spirit of keeping us in this predicament. But, but, but we should not, we should fight that because we as a people, we need to fight for justice. Regardless of Just your accent, regardless of the color of your skin, we are all created in God's image. Listen, you know, justice is coming. Believe that justice is coming. And it's not going to be by reparations of money. It's going to be by bloodshed. No, 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 no. I, I, According to the Bible. According, according to the Bible. Yes. It's mm -hmm. going to be bloodshed for what, same way, you know, the Egyptians, right? Mm -hmm. You know, when they had God's people into mm -hmm. slavery, mm -hmm. what did they do? They had them in slavery, right? And they had them in bondage, and they had them working sun up to sundown. They had them building bricks, and they took away the supplies to make it even more harder for mm -hmm. the people mm -hmm. to do their job mm -hmm. as slaves, right? Mm -hmm. And what God do? He said, Moses, tell the Pharaoh to let my people go. Mm -hmm. And he said, no. Mm -hmm. And he said, no. Mm -hmm. And they steadily did it, steadily, steadily. And he put the curses on them. Mm -hmm. And then he killed the people. Mm -hmm. He killed every firstborn Egyptian for God's people. He mm -hmm. did that for us. It's called a Passover. Yeah, yes. And he... That's what... I, I, Person, I don't advocate for like turning the guns. Oh no, this is going to be divine. Forget yes. guns is there, not, there yeah, yeah. Go, we go. cannot beat we the white man that. with guns. He has exactly, and that's what's going to happen. Violence will never, two wrongs will never solve. We can't beat the white man because he was blessed by the sword. That's, that's why it. he goes to, that's why he's in your land right now. Yeah. And having your people subjugated to the European uh, yes. powers that be. Yes, I, and, and let me tell you, this racism is ugly. It's going to even get worse. It's so ugly. And as black people, as people in Montgomery, this is what they say. For civil rights movement, mm -hmm. we need to ignite the spirit in this place. Oh. <laughs> we need to ignite the spirit. The spirit is going to be ignited. So this is the time. This is our time. You know, you know, we, I know white friends who are out there who want to join part to be part of this. You know, we cannot fight a, a, a revolution. We cannot fight for justice without involving them. True. And, you know, I always tell my daughter. Well, you say we cannot? Sorry? You say we cannot fight for justice. With we need to involve them. Involve them? Like the white people who are for us. To be with us and... To champion what... So you think that they will automatically? Sorry, they, they, they will automatically. Automatically, that will happen. Because all the white people ain't gonna sit there and, and take it. No, not all of them. Some people gonna fight for us. Mm -hmm. Yes, that, that's what we are saying. When, like Martin Luther King, the root involved the white people was there. Was supporting. What happened to him? He was assassinated because oh, was a white man. The, the Bible you know, says you but not all people who are white. When you thirsty, where you go? So called white are um, advocating for the destruction of blacks, is what you're saying. Yes. They, some of them really want us to. Yes. Some, they're bad tomatoes. Mm -hmm. So here's a question Do, If you had a thousand snakes come into your house, and a hundred snakes was good snakes, right? Do you leave the door open for to let all the snakes in? Just to hope for that hundred, or do you shut the door? <laughs> Muhammad Ali. <laughs> Muhammad Ali. Yes, you are. I know you're a student of Muhammad Ali. I'm not a student, but I like him.
We need to fight for nonviolence. Nonviolence. No revolution is came by nonviolence. Yeah. They are revolution. Well, revolution. Uh, in South, uh, apartheid. Apartheid. They got you in uh, uh, the same predicament now. That's why. Uh, all. Where's your resources going to? Your resources is going to white people because of apartheid. That's why. But, you know, the farmlands and all of that, they got that. Black people, there are some things that we need to champion. The change of the, the reforming laws. We need to Who makes the laws? Our legislative people we vote. Who makes the laws? You said the legislative? What type of people are them? Are them the same people that makes... Is them the same people of the forefathers of America? That enslaved people and uh, the police officers, the judges and... The senators and the congressmen mm -hmm. are they all of the same people? So you're asking yeah, the yeah, same people, people but, but, you know, to change the laws to help out the people. Say, Let me finish this real quick, real quick. So you think that we can ask the same people that put us in the situation we're in, that has the system set up against the so-called black man, to ask them or vote? Maybe probably be a, like a vote to change the laws to help us. And it's been 400 years, and you think they're going to do it today? So why do you think well, what would be the solution? The solution is when the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, the people that was conquered and colonized, learn who they are in the Bible and come back and keep in the covenant that they made with the Father, the Creator of Heaven and Earth. When one third of them people repent and come back, He's going to let loose the terrors, the four winds of earth. And that's when Christ, the black Messiah with the woolly hair, dark skin, the Jew, the real, the real Messiah, not the blonde hair, blue eyes. I ain't got the picture. Whenever he comes back, he's coming back to slaughter and set order into the earth as it is. And the scriptures say that when the wicked are in rulership, the earth mourns. But when the righteous are in rulership, the earth rejoice. That's the kingdom of heaven. When all wickedness is erased. Because when Christ come back, ain't no more America. Ain't no more Donald Trump. And no more uh, sanctions and stuff. All of that goes away. All of this is going to be melted. Everything you see here downtown is going to be burnt to smithereens. According to the Bible. Everything I'm telling you is in the Bible. So it all starts with it all starts with the people that, was been, that has been destroyed. The three-fifths of a man. The dog. The one that they destroyed mentally, the so-called blacks, to even make them hate their own people. Mm. When they wake up to who they are, when black people wake up, you have not seen an army of black people yet. Nobody in the world has seen how strong black people really are. They know about it. That's why they got to keep us separated. Got to keep us against each other, different religions, you know what I'm saying? As long as they keep us separated, they can always rule. 1921, we got together. Black Wall Street, what happened? Drop bombs on it. Separated us. This is after slavery, 60 years after. No, 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 and we and as you said, we you need to unite the forces. We need to come together. People of color. See, you know where you're from, though. That's the difference. That's the difference between me and you. You know where your ancestors come from. You can go down your history. I cannot. My stuff is destroyed. Yeah, that's it. We are that's destroyed. It. And identity, a person without yeah. identity has no purpose. A person without identity goes and grabs somebody else's identity. It's a reach and a grab. They destroyed us as a people. That's why you see the blacks like this. That's why you see the so-called blacks. What is a black? What is that? Think about it. That's a title. What's an African-American? That's two different continents. What's an Afro-American? That's a hairstyle. Are we really Americans? This place wasn't even called America. They came and slaughtered the people that lived here and called it America. What about them? I, I, I get it because I'm just, these are some of the discussions I'm going to say, yeah, and my last thing. Do you think God forgets? Do you think God is just? Do you think, have they been repaid for what they've done, done not only to the blacks, but the Mexican and Hispanics? And the rest of the world, the whole entire earth, the whole earth is in mourning right now. Hiroshima, Nagasaki had bombs, atomic bombs dropped on. Mm. Iran, Iraq, they're still at war over there right now. Uh, 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 China, they got sanctions and stuff going on. What about the, the Native Americans? They on reservations. You don't even see it. It's their land. You don't even see them now. Do you think God is not going to punish a whole nation like he did to the Egyptians to let my people go? There's a judgment coming, and you're seeing it right now as the people waking up. As according to the scriptures, in Ezekiel 37, it says that his people are going to start waking up, and they're going to come back. One third of us is going to come back. That's why you see this. Them are called fringes. That is a visual marker that's showing you that we descend from the bloodline of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. We got the same blood as Christ in us. We are God's chosen. And guess what? He ain't playing when he come back. Whether you are of Israelite or not, if you're not keeping his commandments, 